Young Dewey. Living that real lavish life, you feel me? You feel me? <coughs> now we're back again with another graphic and design tutorial. Uh, and this is for our producers and also designers. So today what we're focusing on is cutting out PNGs. AKA just cutting out pictures that you will use for your graphic design that can go for a beat kit, a uh, sample library, um, a cover art. Uh, I get a lot of questions about people ask me how I cut it out or how do I make my cuts in my comment section, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Bible study. Um, so I want to bring this to you guys and show you how I do it. Now, um, just to let you guys know, I'm, you see how I make my graphics, kind of distressed, kind of um, rough. So that's how I go for it when I do the cutouts. I don't make sure everything's perfect because everything doesn't have to be perfect. I work with a lot of people who make vintage sounds. So I try to make vintage graphics to match that. And you know damn well it was not perfect. So what we're working with right now is this picture that I actually found online. Little mommy right here. You see her? Look just like my ex. I swear. Little mommy right here. So what we're focusing on is cropping her out so it can look like this. You see that? See how I'm doing him? You see how she don't I don't we don't feel, no, feel And then even if you do have a design that's like this, where as though you want to have it where as though it looks like she's 3D, like coming out of the picture, that's fire as well. I see that a lot. I actually may do something like that. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it and start cutting her out. Alright, so got the picture right here in front of me. Alright, so the tool that we're really gonna be focusing on right now is going to be the quick select tool, alright? So with the quick select tool, there's a lot of options in here. What I want to make sure is that you're on this one right here. You see how you go here is a plus, and you click on this one. You see how? You see how that one has a negative on it? We're going to focus on the one as a plus because plus means we're going to grab it. You feel me? And then um, I usually start around 26, maybe start around 30. Uh, let me see. Let's go to 30 just in case. Now the size depends on how big you're working with. Now we are gonna make it a little smaller when we wanna get into some details so we make sure we don't lose anything of her. Um, now additional, when you're doing this, we wanna make sure that we're also on the layer that we wanna focus on. So let's go ahead and start. You're gonna go ahead and take the mouse, go ahead and just start pouring on top of her. Go and make it rain down on me. I think we might cut that out of the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull over. You see that? We got a nice amount of her. So we don't want any of those marching ants inside the image. We want it all outside because we're trying to grab this whole thing inside. So now we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now that I look like I grabbed it. Now I usually start over here on the trim. You see how that's grabbing that? Which is fine because that's the system and Photoshop saying, okay, do you want to crop this out? We're going to go ahead and use this tool. Now, if you're on a MacBook, you're going to hold Option. If you're on Windows, you're going to hold Alt. So, we're going to hold Option or Alt, and then you're also just going to bring this down this way. But we actually want to push it out. So, I want you to not hit Window or Alt and just push it out. I'll try to trick y'all real quick. All right, see that? You see how it's like kind of deleting it? But we just go ahead and run your finger all the way down right there. With that line to go straight down real sexy now we're at this area right here and we don't want this orange what we really want to do is just get this line of her body so like i said you're on a windows you're going to hold option if you're on um if you're on a windows you're going to hold alt if you're on a macbook you're going to hold options so we're going to go ahead and hold options right now you see how i'm doing here you know, go ahead and push that up you know you see that get the march answer along with her now I like that. I want to keep that little part right here. You see this? We don't want that. So once again, we're going to hold options or alt and just click up in there. Did you see? What? I don't have to do any additional work. The system did it. What? It's 2014. All right. So back again with this side, same exact process. I want to be able to keep some of her over here. So we're just going to use this and bring this down. Once again, we're going to do it one more time. Actually, it's going to be like a few more times we're going to do this. So, you're going to hold options and click in this little orange part. Get it out of here. Move this over here. Got her finger. Got that. We're going to push this over here on some. Now, I wouldn't really stress about this part that much. Because I like to keep some in there anyway just to show that it is a that it is a, a comic strip. Like, I, I, it's, 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 a, it's animated. So I'm gonna go back up here, 
and we're gonna hold Alt again. Boom, get that area out of here. You see how it's following the glass? You see how this got all crazy like that? You see that? You wanna hold Option, oops, something happened. Also, Command Z to go back. I messed up and I hit Command Z, all right? I'm gonna get this nail over here. Give me some of that nail. Now it looks like we may have to turn down the size. We're gonna turn down the size just a little bit here. The start feeling as though it's catching too much. We gotta change that size, you guys. And then also we may have to change a little bit of this hardness here as well. Hardness is basically how brass and how far it's pushing it back. Pull this back some. I'm just gonna catch some of that, it's no problem. Because we're gonna do this anyway and bring this back to life all the way up here. You see that? Push this back some more. We want it to run up against that glass for real. Against this glass. Get rid of any of this. Now we're going to zoom in again, get into a little bit more of this right here. Now don't worry about missing some of those edges because we're going to bring them back anyway. Alright, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this out because I want this glass. Remember that. You see how that runs up against that? It runs up against the liquid like that. Take that up. Let's push this up a little bit too. There we go. Follow a line. See the little pointer out right here. You see that right here. Same thing. We're gonna follow along until eventually we cover the whole thing. And once again, I'm holding Option on a MacBook, and you're gonna hold Alt on a Windows. I'm gonna bring this up. You see how that got to some of that thread over there? That's not zesty. And I know it looks a little raggly, look a little ghetto, but I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna get some of that stuff back. All right, there we go. Trace that along that loin a little bit. Let's go ahead and push it out. We can't miss some of our hair. Ball here, scatty wet. Ain't got no hair in the back. Easy, breezy. Why do y'all like me? I don't understand. Uh, let me see. Alright, I like that. You see I hear a shoulder right there, a little creep. Alright, so remember, I want to get rid of some of these parts over here on this side right here. You see that? Once again, option, click up in here. Right? Bring it up a little bit. Now, we don't want to lose none of her fingers. You want to make sure she has fingers. Remember, your first time ain't going to be perfect. Try this before you go in and be like, I'm gonna make something. Try it first, just practice. This took me a little while to be able to do this. Let me see. And I still don't do it perfect. Remember that. No matter if you're looking at all my graphics and you're saying, yo, this is crazy, that's because I have learned the finesse of making things look perfect. But high key, you're just doing me for real. You feel me? No life lessons in that. Stop playing with me. There we go. You see how I was able to grab the liquid and everything with that as well? That's for you. That's for you. So I step back and take a look just to make sure. I usually follow the lines just to see what we got here. I want to get some more of this, some more of this glass in there. We follow that. We got our fingers. We got a glass. We got that cropped in. We got her arm nice. We got that part that's going to be cropped up out of there. Those ants are marching across her line. I like that. We can do this a little bit too, just to bring this down a little bit. Right, there we go. I like it. I like it. Wait, hold on, let me bust this out a little bit. That's a lot, it's a little bit. There you go, I like that. Oh, nope, I messed up. There you go. Once again, Command Z. Bow, put it right back to life. So now that we got those marching ants against all the lines that we like, and it's like basically we have her selected, basically, right? So we're gonna come down to this area. You see this right here? This is a mask. 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 So we're gonna click on that button when we got her selected, right? 
boom. It took an eye too. I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to go Command Z, right? Now we zoom back in. You see how I got her eye? Option. And then we just knock this out, right? Scroll back. That's the best thing I like about Photoshop. You make a mistake, you can go right back. Command Z, Command Z. Let's try that mask one more time. Boom. I like that. You she, you she. We still got a lot of rough ends on her like that. All that over here. But her hands look good. The drink look good. The fact that we still was able to save that liquid. And then some of these parts you can always just trim out at any time. Like this, we can just trim that part out at any moment. But I actually like it. It looks like we just cropped her out. I like that. I like the whole vibe of like just cropping her out. You know what? If we all come together and say that perfect isn't great, they can't stop us. All right. So at the bottom, you see this little little thingy right here. We're going to create another layer, right? That's going to be the layer that's going to be transparent. And we're going to get rid of this black uh, drop back. And that's going to show us the transparent background just like that. She looks great. I like it. I will use it just like this. But I want to show you guys a technique that I learned that will boost this up just a little bit more. Now, when you click on the cartoon again and you look at the layer right here, you see that? It's going to go up. You're going to see select and mask. Click on select and mask. So we're up in this area. All right. So you're going to see these three. We're going to focus on these three right here, which is going to be smooth, feather, and contrast. Now I'm going to zoom in some. Now what smooth does, you see all these little, the edges are like kind of sharp. Smooth is going to smooth that out. Play with that a little bit. Play with that a little bit. Play with that a little bit. There we go. You see how those are now like, kind of like smooth edges compared to how rough it looked before. All right. And then we're going to go over to feather. What feather basically does and give a little bit of blur to the edges so you don't pay that much attention to the edges. Now, we, we, I'm pretty light with the feather because remember, I got a lot of orange that's still lingering on the outside of her. So we want to go ahead and play with that feather just a little bit just to see how it looks. Good. You see how it's like smoothing it out. It's not as hard. Now, I got my feather on 1.8. I'm going to bring it to at least, let's say, 2.3. Let's see how that looks. I like it. Move that out some for me. Let me see that. Let me see it. Let me see it. You know, I just realized that I thought she was pouring a shot. That may be poison. Somebody about to get got. So the next step we're going to do here is contrast. Now, contrast is sharpen. So we're basically going to sharpen up those areas that, so that looks like real blurry because we blurred it out by using a feather. So let me go back over here. Let me show you this. Oh, hold up. I'm out of order, you guys. Slow down. So you see that little edges right there? We want to use some more contrast here. You see that? You saw it? You synced? Let me go back to no contrast. You see it? Now we're going to go ahead and add some on top of it. And contrast basically takes those areas that were really, really feathered out and it sharpens them now. There we go. And then when you're done, you just hit OK. My MacBook wilding out, you guys. Relax. There we go. And that is how I usually cut them out. Now, you can still go behind if you want to go over here. Zoom in a little bit on this. Not a lot. You can still beat that up on that way. Okay. Bring the size down on the brush a little bit. Tree light. That's if you if that orange was just bothering you a little too much. You can always run a little bit on the trims, and then you use the magic eraser tool for that. Like this little bump right here. You can get that out of here. That looks great. I like to keep some orange. That's personally just me. And I just like how that all looks. Man, if we bring the original layer back, you see that? Looks great. Let me bring this down. 
And another thing that people ask me about, if you also wanted to do a, let me go ahead and add this black background behind it. You can also do a overlay around it, such as, let's say if you wanna do an orange overlay. And then also you see how our arm is cut off on the side? How I would use this and manipulate this, I would use this graphic this way. I would have it on the corner, or you can reverse it and have it on this corner. Or if you have it in the middle, you can have like something coming off the side of her, like a dove, or like any type of animal. You can have a snake wrapped around her arm that'll cover off the other sides. Um, if I would show you all my graphics and peel back some of the layers, you'll see that it's a lot of spots that are just like cut off. And you use that to cover it up. If I would rotate this and lay it to the side, you can cover the side up with diamonds. It's all about covering up those imperfections, um, which are always there in any type of graphic and design for real. You feel me? You feel me? I said you, I swear to you, if you don't call, comment right now, I feel you. Comment right now, I feel you. If I don't see at least seven comments that say I feel you, I'm never doing another video again. I swear, I put this on the tree sound guards. I don't know who they are. But, we're gonna go back to the one that we just did. You feel me? Click on that mask, right? You double click on this. You come back up in here. All right, now we're gonna look for stroke. You see that? And then we can always change the color of the stroke as well. Oh wait, let me go back to stroke. Right, you see how it's that color? Let's see if I wanted to do that orange because that orange was already there, so. And then you see the size. You just bring that size down a little bit, you see that? That also helps with any imperfections that are inside of your graphics and everything like that. Nothing wrong. I think TMZ uses a lot. You see how they outline everybody all the time on TMZ? This is how you outline, you get rid of some of that, oh, that extra stuff that comes out. Anything that's like sharp, and that's really how you do it, just like that. You feel me? You feel me? Hold up, quick run through. You feel me? What? They'll never know I stole it. They'll never know. All right, so basically that's all I wanted to talk about with you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I just want to say thank you to you guys. This is my third video up. I really appreciate all the comments and the support. Um, once again, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Dude Clay. Follow me at Instagram, Twitter, uh, SoundCloud, SoundLink, um, uh, Google, Uber Eats, Postmates. 